Hi everyone, welcome back to Smart Learners. Today the topic for discussion is data communication. Just the introduction part, not much, but very important terminologies has been discussed today. Let's get started with the data communication introduction. So let's start with the introduction. To understand better what is data communication, let's discuss communication first. Communication is nothing but sharing or in exchange of information between individuals or systems. There are two types of communications which are generally present. One is local communication, another one is remote communication. So the first type is local communication. When we say a communication is said to be local, when the communication is happening face to face between the individual, it is said to be local communication, where there is no distance involved, where the two persons are present next to each other. Such type of communication is said to be a local communication, is remote communication. When a communication is taking place over a distance, it is said to be remote communication. Example, uh, we use telephones to make calls, we send emails, we send telegraph. So what is this? Tele. Tele means distance in Greek. That means a communication happening over a distance. We'll discuss what is data. The information present in the communication process is referred as data. It can be of any form such as uh, text, image, audio, video, etc. But the form chosen should be agreed by both sender and receiver involved in the communication process. Defining data communication. The exchange of information between the devices via some form of physical medium such as wire cables is known as data communication. To make communication possible, we need both hardware and software components. Let's discuss the components involved in data communication. First of all, we need a sender to send the information and we need a receiver to receive the information. We need transmission medium for the process to happen the channel through which the data can travel then we have of course have to have a message what is a message the information itself or the data itself next we need protocols is nothing but the set of rules that is meant to govern data communication uh, it is a form of agreement between the communication devices transmission medium the physical path in which the communication occurs through which the information travels from center to receiver is known as a communication medium because the different forms of data representation first is the text texts are usually represented in bit pattern as a sequence of bits that is nothing but zeros and ones there are different patterns designed in order to represent text symbols each is called code process is known as coding the most prevailing is unicode the american standard code for information interchange constitute first 127 characters in unicode next are numbers they are directly converted into binary number for simplification next is images they are also represented by bit patterns images composed of matrix of pixels which are small dots the size depends on the resolution on the image is divided into pixel and each pixel is assigned a bit pattern this audio the process of recording or broadcasting of sound or music is referred as audio the nature of audio is continuous unlike text and other forms microphones are used to change the voice the nature of audio is continuous unlike text and other forms Microphones are used to change the voice to an electrical signal that are created continuously. Video refers to recording or broadcasting of a picture or a movie. Next is data flow. The first mode is simplex mode where the data flow or the communication is said to be unidirectional where the control only is passed on from mainframe to the monitor. The monitor just displays it. It doesn't in turn give any response from to the mainframe. So the communication is said to be unidirectional. Next is half duplay. In half duplay mode, the transmission and receiving is possible from both the ends, but not at the same time. When one node is transmitting, the other can only receives and vice versa. Examples walkie talkie. Next is full duplay. In full duplay mode, both the nodes can transmit and receive simultaneously. This mode is used when communication is required in both directions all the time. The capacity of the channel is divided between the two directions. Example is telephone networks. Characteristics of data communication. Delivery. The data should be delivered to the correct or intended destination. Data must be received only by the intended user or the device. Timeliness. The system must deliver the data in timely manner. Data delivered at late are useless. Accuracy. The system must deliver the data accurately. Data should not be altered in transmission. Data that is altered in transmission and left uncorrected are unusable. So we come to the end. Uh, the other topics related to data communication and networking. I will be uploading it very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, comment and subscribe to my channel. 
Do share this with your friends if you found it useful.